Hey, James Swank here with Junk 180, 707-536-0740. Check us out online, junk180.com. So, uh, been contemplating doing this for the better part of a couple days, and I made a decision earlier today. Uh, that decision is the, uh, Spliced into a couple other videos that I've made, but the N95 respirators that we keep on hand, and we keep them on hand uh, you know, essentially for dust masks for day to day jobs, but um, primarily, specifically N95 because they filter out uh, 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 particulate matter in the air, and in, in the past couple years. 2017 and 2019 we've had a uh, major impact to air quality due to major wildfires in this area so we always keep a supply on hand um, we've got a, most of a box I mean 50 I think there's 50 comes in this box there's a couple been used um, obviously discarded uh, but they there's 45 or so, maybe 46, 47 still left in this box. And it's the last of our supply. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I, I threw it out on uh, our town here in Benicia has a group on Facebook, which I am a part of, uh, both personally and um, Junk 180 as a company. And uh, I decided I wanted to donate these masks to uh, medical professionals they're gonna make better use out of them than we would uh, granted they are very useful in our business but you know sometimes you've got to put the, the the needs of the many before the needs of the few and right now we are the few so I don't mind giving these things up it's going to uh, they're going to uh, I'm dropping them off at a nurse's house here in town who works for John Muir Medical Centers and uh, she is going to uh, bring them to work she's, she's gonna distribute them she did tell me that John Muir has a couple donation centers I'm sure pr pretty much every hospital has probably got one right now at this point um, but uh, she happens to live right here in town and offered, offered uh, actually she offered to come pick them up for me, but I was already on the road to one of their donation sites and uh, she threw me her address. So I'm gonna just swing by her house, drop them off and uh, she's gonna do what she needs to do with them. So that's gonna have an impact on on our business, which uh, like I said, I'm okay with. You know, past uh, couple weeks, we've had a policy of if we need to break the plane of a customer's residence, that we would put this respirator on, and that would, that would ensure protection for us from breathing in any uh, contaminants inside their home and it would also indicate to the customer that we are protecting them from anything we might bring in right uh, they, they say you may not present any symptoms at all but you may not present any symptoms for 14 I think they said 14 days after contraction so is in the, the the numbers I mean, you can interpret the numbers any way you want. Um, in any case, we're, we're just gonna drop these masks off and we're gonna have to adjust the way we approach our customers. Um, you know, realtors and property managers still have to facilitate moving, getting people moved in and out of residences. So there's still plenty of work. Uh, still plenty of work to be had in unoccupied homes. In addition to that, we're still offering a discount for curbside and driveway pickups and many of our standard services uh, like hot tub removals, shed removals, uh, garage cleanouts, um, 
uh, yard trash outs, pretty much anything outside is, is still good to go. Uh, we're just gonna have to think twice about uh, entering an occupied residence at this point. So we're pulling up, pulling up to the home now. And uh, we're, get, we're, we're trying to do our part to, you know, save lives in the, the little, the little we can do with the little we have. Wish we had more to give. All right, James Swank, Junk 180, 707-536-0740. Check us out online, junk180.com. We're still open to serve our customers.